Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to the short masterclass for Kaid. Now Kaid is coming with Operation Wind Bashing for Rainbow Six Siege and he is all about stopping hard breachers with his Electro Claw. Now his Electro Claw works a lot like a bandit battery but it's much more versatile and it can electrify multiple things. Now his loadout is the AUG A3. This is a pretty good SMG because the recoil is quite easy to control. It's not got the best damage or anything like that but it's certainly a nice weapon to use. However, his slug fire and shotgun might be your top pick. This can be fitted with an ACOG, making it very powerful for a defender to have. But if you don't want to take that ACOG, you have the secondary 44 mag semi-auto pistol. Now this has a zoom optic, which has the same magnification as an ACOG, making it a very powerful weapon to hold down tight angles or do some spawn peeking with. His secondary gadgets are barbed wire or impact grenades and he is a slow operator with 3 armor. So to use this new defender effectively, you have to become a master of his gadget. So his electric claw is incredibly versatile, it is awesome to use. It electrifies things within a 1 meter radius. This includes barbed wire, deployable shields, reinforced walls and roof hatches as well, making him a little bit more versatile than Bandit, however Bandit does have more batteries. So first of all, let's talk about the Kaid trick. Now this is basically the Bandit trick, but with the Electro Claw. Now the Electro Claw takes about one second more to electrify than a Bandit battery does. So you have to place this perfectly, but if you listen here, you can hear the thermite charge going down. If you get the Electro Claw out immediately, then you can electrify that wall before that thermite charge is able to go off. But if you're even a fraction of a second delayed, it will not work in time. So this is still doable with our new operator, but it's a little bit harder. However, the bonus says he electrifies two reinforced walls at once, so you don't have to guess which one the thermite charge is on. Now, great things to know about the Electro Claw is it will not destroy bandit batteries, which is really handy. You don't have to worry about getting in bandit's way. You can both electrify the same thing if you want to, but of course, it's best to diversify. It also means that bringing along the Electro Claw and the bandit batteries at the same time is a really good tactic because of course Thatcher can come along and EMP gadgets like the bandit batteries and the electro claws so if you actually have a lot of them you can have a lot of spares to put down on reinforced walls. Now because the electro claw electrifies everything within a one meter sphere it actually works through walls so even non-destructible walls or through floors which is great it means you can electrify multiple things from a completely different point of view, which makes it a lot harder for the enemies to figure out where your electric claws are. And because Twitch is another counter for this electric claw, it means you can hide it from the Twitch drone, making it far harder to see. Now, because Kaid has a limited amount of electric claws, it does mean that you're gonna have to watch out for Thatcher, because obviously this guy can electrify multiple surfaces, but one EMP is gonna take out those electric claws, even if they're above reinforced walls, even if you go for the highest point, they're still within the radius of an EMP, so really watch out for that. Now another thing to know is electric claws are useless by themselves. So if you're not actually electrifying anything, their kind of sphere of influence doesn't do anything at all. Even a drone can drive right by them. Whereas you do need to electrify something, like barbed wire or a hatch, you have to electrify something for these to actually be useful to your team. Now we did do tests to see if stacking like three barbed wires on top of each other and then electrifying, even with multiple electric claws, we weren't able to stack the damage. So make sure you spread out your barbed wire and then of course electrify all of them in one go. So it won't stack the damage, but you've got a lot of electrified areas for the attackers to actually go through. Now there's also some things to point out about the new slug shotgun. Of course it comes with an ACOG, making it very good for range and it's gonna be very effective in the game. But you should know that it does not go through plain windows, just like Vigil and Dockaby's slug shotgun as well. But of course it has the benefit of having a magazine full of these rounds to be used. And of course that ACOG as well. Now that wraps up all the information you need to know about how to play as Kaid, but also how to combat him in game. Now hopefully you're gonna have a lot of fun playing against him and as him. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Come.
break your back against a mountain. 